this video we will learn the if then else if command in bhdl on the basis3 fpga board so let's open vivado create project next we'll call it if else if let's change the directory of the project next next of course i'll choose the basis3 fpga board next finish so first let's change the target language from verilog to vhdl okay okay so now we need to add sources add or create decent sources next create file we'll call it top okay finish so now we need to declare the input and output ports so we have one input in one of two bits and one output we'll call it out one also of two bits okay so now we are creating the top.vhd file let's open it so first we need to declare the process so we have approach one process in the sensitivity list we'll put the input in one is begin and process so inside the process we need to declare the if then else if command so we have if in one is equal to one zero then out one is equal to one zero else if in one is equal to zero one then out one is equal to zero one else if in one is equal to one one then out one is equal to one one else out one is equal to zero zero and if okay so now control s to save now we can run the synthesis okay in the send runs we can check the status of the synthesis Okay, so the synthesis is completed, so we can open the synthesized design. Okay, so now in IO ports we need to connect the input and the output ports to the switches and the LEDs on the Basis 3 FPJ board. Okay, so the first bit of the input will connect it to the first switch, R2. The standard is Elevisimos 33. The second bit of the input will connect it to the second switch, which is T1. The standard is Elevisimos 33. So the first output will connect it to the L1, which is the first LED of the board. The standard is Elevisimos 33. And the second bit of the output will connect it to the second LED, 
which is P1. The standard is LVCMOS 33. So Control S to save. Okay, so now we've is creating the constraint file. Okay. Okay, so now we can generate the bstream and of course Vivado will relaunch the synthesis. So now we can close the synthesized design. Okay, so the implementation is finished, so we can open the hardware manager. So now we can turn on the FPGA board. We can open target, auto connect. So now we can program the device with our bitstream, top.bit, program. Okay, so now we can go through all the combination. Of course, when both the switches are zero, the output is zero, zero. So thank you guys for watching the video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe and follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. See you guys in the next video.